My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from. Good morning, everybody. My name is Anna Lee. I am an entrepreneur, author, mindset coach, and a global connector. I'm going live from Melbourne, Australia. Awesome. Question for you. One of my questions is, we use a lot of big words when it comes to entrepreneurship. Two words that I want to get clarification from you. What does fulfillment, I know you talk about it a lot. What does fulfillment means and what does happiness mean and how are they correlated? Very, very good question. So when I was younger, I used to believe that happiness is the ultimate things that you need to pursue. doesn't matter how much money you have, as long as you're happy, you know, as long as you you feel um, happy and the level of happiness. But I got to a point in my life where um, I, I felt that at the time I had everything I had um, that I wanted, basically. I've got cars, house, investments. Um, I was an, a partner of an accounting and financial planning firm by the age of 23. And I had boyfriend, relationship, everything. But I don't know why something's still missing inside of me. And I, was, I thought I was broken or something. And I went on a search for a long time to find out the, the missing piece. And I realized that happiness, happiness is a stage of mind that you can achieve anytime. I mean, if you tune into gratitude and, you know, see what you have in your life instead of what you're not having, uh, there's no reason why not feeling the happiness. But fulfillment, fulfillment is another level. Once you're happy, then you can find fulfillment through a number of ways. One of the ways is contribution to others like exactly what you're doing now by sharing the knowledge the lesson helping other people out it's not just about us you know we're living in this planet there's plenty of things and people to help so contribution to others will help you have happiness and fulfillment in your life so can i be fulfilled and happy at the same time exactly and that's how we should be we should be we should, should be able to be feel happy and tune in happiness all the time. However, though, other emotions are also beautiful as we are human beings, you know. When we have sadness, then you appreciate more when you have happy time. And when, when we go into this tough time, it's okay to feel those emotions. There's nothing wrong about the negative emotion. But um, you move on and then, you know, you get to the next level and get the next things done. Um, and you can always tune into happiness through gratitude. But can I be happy and not fulfilled? Yes, absolutely. There's a lot of people out there that are doing really well with themselves, making good money, um, you know, have a wife, have family, or whatever the lifestyle that they have. But they, I'm sure, I'm sure with you that there's still something missing. They feel it. They feel something missing in their life. And that is fulfillment. And it's very, yeah, happiness and fulfillment are very different. And there are different ways people can feel fulfillment, like I said. There's one of the way is that you, when you contribute to other and you feel that you're part of something much, much bigger than yourself um, and contribute to other on another scale, then um, I think that's where you can find the fulfillment. But you have to feel it inside. You have to go and search for it. What is the thing that you're passionate about? For me, I am passionate about helping other people. And like I mentioned, I made good money at the time when I was still really young. Um, so, but then I got, I hit to the glass ceiling where I, I felt that lack of fulfillment. And that's when I started my uh, personal development journey um, really seriously. It took a lot of um, that is, course That's program. exactly what I was going to ask. What is your favorite book on personal development? Oh, my God. So the first book that I read was definitely Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And uh, honestly, at the time, I was, it was given to me. I look at it, and I'm like, oh, my God, it's so long. And, um, you know, the language is very, like, back to the date. And, but I'm like, oh, you know, I was tossing and turning to, to read it, the whole thing. But once I read it, like the first time, I was still like, oh, I don't understand. It seems to be so uh, woo-woo or like it's just intangible. But the more and more I go into the personal development and discover the power of the subconscious mind, I am actually a, 
NLP master practitioner as well, I really saw the the more tangible it brings to people's lives and how it's amazing it is to, to help people change their life and even start with changing the way they think, um, their mindset, because you, you only can have as much as your mind can imagine and can believe in and can take in. So um, definitely Napoleon Hill, uh, Think and Grow Rich and other books that he wrote as well. Yeah, I think it's it's so weird that so many people have had the same experience. I was interviewing a gentleman a while back, and he said the same thing. The first multiple times that the book was gifted to him, he never paid attention to the book. Finally, many years after, he picked up the book, and he's like, wow, this is so good. How come nobody gave it to me? And then he realized many years after that, that multiple times it came to his life, but he never took the time to go ahead and read it. So it's it's very funny. He said, here's my other question for you. When it comes to self-development, when I'm brand new, let's say I'm just becoming an entrepreneur, there's like thousands of books that you could get. There's a thousands of videos that you could watch. What are some of your suggestions to entrepreneurs? What should they do? Entrepreneur? Um, no, that's a very, very good question. So, um for me, when I say I read book, I, I, I reveal you a secret. I actually don't really read book as such. Nowadays, with technology, it's so amazing. I mostly listen to audio book when I drive to meetings to um, be doing business. And that te I take in so much. Um, also, increase the speed. You can you train yourself, increase the speed when you listen. Maybe time point tw 25 at the moment, I'm listening to it at the rate about point, um, 1.5. So it's much faster. You can consume faster. And you train your mind to think faster as well. And that's helped you with your intuition and your intelligence. So I uh, listen to audio book. And in fact, I have written a book myself. And it's called Empowered Women Empowering the World. Um, I, I'm really honored to co-author with some amazing, amazing business owners, um, business women around Australia in every single state and territory. And the book is going on pre-sale on the 1st of July this year. So um, yes. very, very exciting. And in that book, you will feel inspired, uplift, and it will transform your life with the stories, with the lessons. It's nothing, it's not, it's not heavy like, like Napoleon, Napoleon Hill, that's um, Think and Grow, which book, definitely read that book though. Make sure you read that book. Uh, but that's a really good start. Um, and in that book, you find, you know, not everyone like me, but there are other authors in the book that you might be able to connect with. But yeah, definitely check it out. Go on my website. It's there, annalee.com.au. Awesome. So here's another question that I have for you. Now, let's say I do the self-development. How important is it for me to have, I feel like a lot of people need to have goals and then they need to go strive to achieve their goals. What are some of the tips that you could t give us that entrepreneurs should be implementing when it comes to setting goals and achieving the goals? Fantastic question. So, um, I, in fact, it's actually mentioned in the book, um, Napoleon Hill, he said that you need to plan your work and work your plan. And I just love that. Like it's, it's for many years now, that's definitely the way. And I mean, a lot of entrepreneurs, they set goals. They, when they started, they get really excited and they set big, massive, massive goal only to realize that it's really hard. It's actually hard. Um, but my, my suggestion is set a goal that's realistic. So the very first goal that you set should be really re realistic and achievable. Why? Because once you achieve that, chemical in our brain give us a dose of happiness and the feeling that, yes, I can do this. I can get to the next step. Because, you know, if you, you set it too high and then you, you would experience what, and Napoleon call it's temporary defeat. And if you hit that too many times, your brain thinking, oh, maybe I can't do this. But if you set realistic and achievable goals, 
uh, you can keep get, getting to the next step, getting to the next step, and that build momentum. And momentum is powerful. So definitely set goal and definite. And how does that that small goal fit into the the bigger purpose that you want to achieve? You have the far vision, but have the small goals, and it build up. So step by step, move by move, you can achieve your goals. How do how do you personally? Deal with temporary defeat. Let's say things, plans don't go according to 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 how we structure it, and things don't go right. How do you how do you how do you take that negative and then turn it into positive? Very very good question. In fact, you know what? I experience temporary defeat every single day. Every single day, when you try to push yourself out of your comfort zone, when you try to do something. New, something different, something harder. You know, not just uh, repeat like every single day doing the same thing. I experience temporary defeat all the time. But is it? It just as simple as take a moment, tell yourself in your mind that this is not me failing. There's no failure. It's only feedback. You know, we're taking feedback. And how do we do is this better? So asking yourself the right question: How do you I do this better? What is this telling me that is not working? How can I pivot? How can I change? How can I adapt to this situation? And that's how you get to success. Is when when you hit temporary defeat, don't tell yourself that you're not good enough. Don't tell yourself that you're not talented, and. Keep in mind that massive, you know, the long-term goal as well as the, the goal that I just mentioned, the achievable, and really strongly believe in that and you can do it. Just help yourself, you can do it. Like when I exercise, you know, your the last rep is always the hardest rep to push, but that is the one that built the muscle. That is the one that creates the dream and the dream body, the dream mind, the dream life that you want to have. So... I always push yourself, come on, Anna, you can do this. Like, you can do this, just one more. You don't need a personal trainer. Yes, that's help. But sometimes you need to tell yourself that too. In, in every other thing in life, not just in the gym, in life, you just need to tell yourself you can do this. And how can you do it better? That's it. Simple as that. Love it, love it. So when is the book coming out to empower men? When is that book coming out? When because is that I feel book like coming out? First of July. No, 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 no. The sale. book that's empowerment for men, not women. I know you oh, got the woman coming. Right. When okay. is the men one coming? When is the men version coming out? Very, very good question. I will collaborate with other people, and that's probably coming out. Very good question. I'll keep that in mind. Listen, thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning or this afternoon, I should say. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to do a lot more. When the book is out, definitely send me the link. For the Amazon link, I like to purchase it and, and send us a couple of more segments of it so we can share on our channel. Absolutely. And I mean, everybody, everybody should go to my website now. It's Anna Lee, just one E though. It's le dot com dot au. And you can pop, pop, make sure you pop in your email address and we'll send you all updates about the book when you can available for, for pre sale um, at a cheaper price. But my name is Anna Lee. I am available for mindset coaching, investment and business consulting and interview media. And contact me. Looking forward to seeing you soon. I love it. Thank you so much for being here. Stay safe. Talk to you soon. Thank you for having me. Thank you got you, it. Bye-bye.